Well, before you come in, you need to be just a tiny bit patient with me, little lady. I'm a mite nervous, see? I, this sort of thing is new to me. I've never paid for it before. Oh. oh. Well, really, no. <laughs> oh. Why this time? Well, this time I want something special. Hmm? Something I've never done before. What's that? I want to be on top. <laughs> mm. What you dreaming about? You know, I didn't hear the pits that start looking like their owners, but that gator's starting to sound like you. She's so cranky lately, too, and she off her feet. You're not feeling good, sweet baby. Maybe we better take you to the doctor and have you check. I know, I know. You don't like them needles, do you? No. You know, she got a strange look in her eye, too, like she possessed. Got some of that evil reptile blood floating around there in her brain pan. Don't you be bad-mouthing my gator. She had been with me a long time. She the best gator a man go warn. Ain't you, baby? Yeah. So, man, who give who the evil disposition, huh? Hmm. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I don't like the way her breath smell. I think maybe she done ate something bad again, like that time she snacked up on my old bayou boot. Gumbo, gumbo, man. Can I be getting me pay, or did she eat that, too? Here, look here. When you go out, leave that door open so she can get a little fresh air. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what you say, Missy. I am calling the vet right now. things that wash ashore in each of our lives. Messages in bottles. Messages that speak an unshakable truth, that no man is an island unto himself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a piece of the world, the extended family that is us.
almost ready now, baby. Got some milk for you. Coat your stomach up real good. Take all them rough edges off of whatever it is you done swallowed up. I even warmed it up for you, just like my mama used to do for me. Take a pin. Where you at? Oh. Oh, my Lord. Oh, she, she done flown the coop. It's okay. You can tell me. I, I won't tell anyone. You understand English? Yes, I speak English. English. Um, here, come on. Get out of this boat. Let me help you. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Hey, hello? It's okay, please. I'm okay. You, you have friends here? Family? Anything? Okay, okay. Come on. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Sit down. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to a doctor. Doctor. Not yet. Not yet? I, what do you mean, not yet? It's only a, how to say in English. A pain? A sharp pain? I, I, I cramp like this. A cramp, a cramp. Yes, from the boat. The boat gave it to me. I, I'm better now. Look, see? Better. I am better. Wait, no, 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 you're not better. You have to go to the hospital. Stop. No, no, they will want to know who I am, where I'm from, and what do we tell them? I see your point. Mire. What? Mire. that is who I am. Thank you for helping me. Wait, um, Mire, Mire. 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 Listen to me. Uh, I have a friend. Uh, She's a doctor. You can trust her. Okay? She's a friend, and she lives very close by. Let me take you to her. Yeah. Okay, give me your bag. And that bag. Okay. Come on, Mire. Okay. I just have to get you out of here. In the flesh. Call me Delbert. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. Well, oh, mutual. Come in, come in. So, Key West Lady Mayor, right? <laughs> well, yes. And you can call me Chaucy. Oh, well, then I will. You know, I've been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Likewise. I have high hopes that the city and the naval base will remain on good terms. Care for a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Care if I do? Oh, no. Go right ahead. Huh. Uh, I didn't realize we were having lunch in your room. Busy agenda. Do you mind? No. Then I won't waste your time. I'll get right down to business. There's a project I'd like to discuss with you. That's what I hear. Oh? Your marina. You want your marina to take up some of my beach. <laughs> well, I guess my proverbial cat is out of the bag. I guess it is. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't merely a question of expansion. It's... Also one of safety. Chaucy, I can make your life up and down the Keys easier. I mean, I know people. And if I don't know the people, I know the people that know the people. You know what I mean? Yes. That's good to know. Very good to know. So, if you have any problems, you come to me. I'm at your disposal. I mean, there's lots I can do for you, Chaucy. We can definitely do business. Room service. <sighs> We're almost there. It's just around the corner. Oh. Uh, you want me to carry you? Okay. Watch your feet. Okay, are you looking up? All right. Give me a hand shake. That's right. Very good. Come here. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. 
You sit here, here, yes. and rest, okay? Yes, can I? Okay. 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 How about you? You take this. Wait for me. Okay. I'll be back, okay? Oh. <laughs> That's great, guys. Come on, come and get it. All right, I'll see you later. Hey, Riley. Hi. How are you? What's up? What are you, a majorette? <laughs> Funny. Listen, I, uh, I got a little problem. What's that? I found a refugee. And? And she needs my help. Are you? And? I really need your help. James, this isn't a good time. Riley, you're the first person I thought of when this happened. Yeah, that's supposed to flatter me? No, it's supposed to make you want to help me. Meaning you're, uh, manipulating me here? Riley. What? She's pregnant. She's what? She's very, very pregnant. Look for yourself. Um, we wouldn't need that much waterfront. Let me show you a minute. Is only... Am I evil? Excuse me? Is that your perfume? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's warm. Dessert? Oh, no, thank you. I try to stay away from them. Oh, fine looking woman like you. Indulge yourself. Okay. Take two. Admiral Hooker. Delbert. I really could use your input on what I'm proposing. Ah, uh, excuse me, just a second. Have to go to the little boys' room first. Then where's she at? I've been up and down this street, looked behind every bush and neath every house. She is gone. Gumbo, man, if she went for water, you know that gate in Cuba by now. Gumbo! Oh, I already know. I've dusted for gator tracks in two separate locations. Where they at? She's vacated both vicinities. However, there have been reports of missing poodles in both locations. Oh, that weren't pink. Now, she hates French food. Notwithstanding her domestic dining habits, she is a gator on the loose, and the return to the wild is to return to wild. Oh, Back to nature. She has not got an aggressive bone in her green body. Mm. What is it? Gumbo, a gator that eats poodles might one day eat people. Now, you may quibble with that equation. Yes, I do. She got a little lamb's heart. I understand how important your pet is to you, Gumbo. But my main mandate is public safety. I am forced to act. What does that mean? Yeah, what you planning on doing? I thought it'd be best to call in a professional. Professional to what? I called the sea man. Gumbo! Come on, guys. Yes, you're <laughs> This is an amazing country. I always hear that. Many people there, please? Oh, no, no. I study them. And is it true about the food? With, with that? That you have it? All that you want? <laughs> yes. You're hungry? A little. Uh, uh, tell you what, I'll go get something from the house and bring it down, OK? Seamus, come help me. She's so sweet, isn't she? She's lovely, but we've got to think of a game plan right now. Game plan? The game plan is this woman needs help. She's a human being, so we're going to help her. Yeah? <laughs> think that defense is going to work in court? I don't know, but I don't want her ending up in one of those camps. All right, fine. If you don't want to help, I'll take care of it myself. I'll do it alone, and we'll go someplace whoa, else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I say that I wouldn't help? No, did you say you would? OK, I will. OK. Thank you. Hey, 
Come hot. <laughs> I'm going to take a swim after lunch. I always take a swim after I eat. Show me your plan again. Come here and show me your plan. Can't help you if you don't show me. Bring him over here. No, I don't think so. What? We can meet on this later. Thank you for your time. Hey, we're not finished with business yet. As far as I'm concerned, we are. Are you sure? You know, sometimes little lady, you gotta bend over to reach the stars. Listen, Lord Ass, if you don't get the hell out of my way, you'll be seeing stars at the end of my fist. It's oh, gonna be exciting, you know that? I mean, you're very Okay, excited. I'm going to count to five. If you haven't moved, I'm gonna start screaming. One. Fine looking woman. Two. I bet you're a great three, screamer. Four. Okay, all right. I'm not up for a fight today. Next time, I'll just come to your office and let me get my calendar. What you just did is unforgivable. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm asking for an appointment. <coughs> and a glass of water? It is. Perhaps an assist to the oh, bed. Oh, come on. If you think I'm going <coughs> to. I hope we don't get into trouble. Don't worry, everything will work out. Well, it's easy for you to say. This is my job. I have a lot of responsibility. Riley, anybody blames you, you say it's my fault, okay? You had nothing to do with this. I forced you. What should I do? Has your water broken? When? It's a bot. A what? Her water broke. What does that mean? It means she's gonna have a baby very soon. How soon? Uh, within 24 hours. Hey. Cramp, cramp, she's cramped. She's no, 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 no. She, she means contraction. Mireille, how often are you having contraction? How often? Oh, oh my should, God. Should I get uh, oh my should, God. I, should I get a hot water and blanket? Yeah, there's not gonna be time for that. Get, uh, give me my first aid kit. It's, it's over there on the chest. Okay, you just breathe. You just breathe. You breathe. Okay, what do you need? Give me my gloves. Gloves. Come on, thank you. What else? Sit, sit behind her and uh, support her head and shoulders. You're doing great. Okay. <sighs> Madam Mayor, shame, shame. No, no, this isn't what it looks like. I have no idea what it looks like, Sugar. Even I have no basis for comparison. <sighs> Call an ambulance. There's something really wrong with him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, he's dead, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God, get him off of me. All right. Oh, get him okay. off of me. Oh. Okay, Sugar, why don't you just settle down on the sofa, let your jangle settle a little bit. We have to bit. call someone. We have to call someone. No, honey. No, honey. Why don't you just relax, 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 and then we'll plot ourselves a little strategy. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm completely innocent. I'm completely innocent. I was here to conduct business. Yes, Sugar, I'm sure you were. But anybody comes in here, gets an eyeful of dead Delbert, they're gonna wonder just what kind of business you've been conducting. If you get my drift. Okay. So what do we do? You're doing great. I want you to push. Good girl. What, what are you doing? Should we call an ambulance? No, the baby's head's crowning. It's what? I can see the head. There's no time for an ambulance. Push. 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 Come on, a little more. A little more. You a cold man, Coda Jefferson. A cold, cold man. Gumbo, pink has run amok. Two poodles are missing off their leashes, uh, and I'm not sure about a family ferret lost off to Ball Street. And all the fingers point towards pink. She has run amok, and I cannot allow a muck to run in my town. And the seaman will be here in an hour. Who's the seaman? Crocodile Chuck. Hey, ain't that Pink's ribbon? You're doing great. I want you to push. <sighs> Good girl. Okay, keep breathing. Breathe. There you go. Breathe. Here, 
Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, keep push, push, push. A little more. A little more. Push. Come on, push, push, push. Oh. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh, look at <laughs> She's Man, if pink don't show up, right, we'll get you another pet. Yeah, what do you say, man? How about uh, a parrot, huh? Oh, yeah, man, she can sit on your shoulder. Yeah, come on, everybody likes a parrot. Yeah, man, I teach her to say dirty words and things. What do you say? No what? No smart-ass, back-talking parrot! Oh, that damn fool here already. And messes with me, I'll fight his other foot off. Chuck Enterprises at your service. Gumbo. It's ticker pink. That is unfortunate. Origin of escape being where? I say it's ticker pink. And I heard you the first time. You know what that gator means to me. It's unnatural to feel affection for a reptile. I always told you that. Gumbo, show Chuck the cage. Oh, this isn't supposed to happen. Relax, sugar. People die. Some with a bang, some with a mare. Poor Delbert, he just didn't know when to say when. Here's hoping the hereafter lets some binge in peace. He was a vile man. And sad, sugar. They're all sad little boys who grow up to be sad little men. It was hardly little. What are you doing here, anyway? So happens I had a business appointment with Delbert myself. Oh, of course. Hey, business is business, baby. Are you trying to tell me you weren't here peddling your wares? What are you suggesting? Nothing, honey. No, no, no. You tell me, what were you suggesting? Really? I suggest you leave. I suggest you get out of here and pretend like none of this ever happened. Come on. I'll cover for you. You would? Absolutely. Why would you do that? So it happens I have a heart of gold. Also, I would like you to do something for me. Oh, of course, here it is. Hey, sister, we're in this together. We best make the best of a bad situation. Listen, I will not make a deal with a known prostitute. Fine. All right, if that's the way you feel, go on, get out of here. Go to your little home, go to your little office. Savannah will stay here, make the call. Face the faces and lay eyes on dead Delbert. How do I know you won't implicate me? Because, sugar, you have my good word. The word of a known prostitute. But it's still my word, and believe me, Sugar, it's still good. Maybe it sort of uh, complicates things, doesn't it? Yeah, she does. But they're fine. Oh, mother and child are fine. I gave her something to wear, and I, I also called a doctor friend of mine. He's going to come check on them. He should be here pretty soon. But you sure it's all right we leave them alone upstairs? They need to be alone. This initial bonding time is very important. Oh, is this you? Oh, no. <laughs> you were so cute. <laughs> You ever thought about having kids? Thought about it, yeah. I've postponed it, though. 
Yeah, you gotta wait for the right guy to come around. Wrong. I love every baby I lay eyes on. I bless them, but I don't need to call one mine. No, you don't mean that. I most certainly do. I want kids. I want a whole station wagon full of little O'Neills. I'll tell them stories. I'll take them to the park, the zoo, play ball. I can't wait. Sounds like you want a child, not a baby. What do you mean? Babies don't listen. They don't eat ice cream. And you're their school. Uh-huh. Music to my ears. It's Ticker Pink. I hear you, baby. I hear you. Talk to your daddy. Is it Pink? Hang on, Pinky. I'm gonna come Peter. in. I'm gonna come right there and get Female. you. Female. About 25 years old, well fed. Sounds like Pink. Pink. Well, pink, I'm coming, baby. She's on the baby. move and she's I'm dangerous. I'm coming to get you. Ooh. Any other known gators on the island? Not to my knowledge. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I'm gonna come get you. Well, our problem just grew. <laughs> That's a love-starved gator in heat. I don't believe it. Believe it. I'm gonna find her my own self. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on Gumbo. Cajun man thinks that gators is just swamp dogs. Well, how big the differ? What's he got on his shoe? Not his shoe, man. He got a bad foot. Get a bit half of it off. Oh, uncool. So it is kind of a vendetta kind of thing. Yeah, you could say that. Hey, man, you think we should help Gums out and join in the search? Yeah, I guess so, man. But I want your feet out front, yeah? And the man's name is Gumbo, not Gums or Gummer. We got a problem. What? What's wrong with the baby? It's not the baby, it's Mireille. What happened to her? She's gone. She's gone? What do you mean she's gone? She is gone. She's not in the room. Sounds like Leo. Listen to that little live ass roar. Am I doing this right? Yeah, just support her head on the arm there. You're doing fine. Riley, I need that bottle. Seamus. Riley, I need that bottle. I'm coming. Any word on the mother? I called the INS, called the Coast Guard. There's a chance they may find her. Oh, I can't believe she would do this. It is a rare mother that would leave her young, but let us not forget the kookalite. The what? The kookalite, doctor. More commonly called the cuckoo bird. Sneaks its egg into other birds' nests so it can be hatched and raised by foster parents. Look, this is not a nest. Riley, hand me that bottle, please. America is one big inviting nest to the rest of the world. Uncle Sam, Andy. And Key West is this big, warm hand stuck down in the middle of the Gulf Stream saying, hey, everybody, climb aboard. Come on. Still sound like music to you? Sounds like colic. What's that? A one in six babies has it. The exact nature of the discomfort is unknown, but the response is universal. What is that? Inconsolable crying. Oh, God. I gotta go. Where are you going? I have to check on the dolphins. Don't leave me here alone. I'll be right back. You'll be fine. Cody. Cody, you're gonna have to help me. Sorry, compadre. Duty calls. Okay. Hey, what's happening? She's quieting down. Motion mellows a baby. You can either walk a day and night or invest in a cradle. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy a cradle. She's not my kid. 
Take a peek. Come on, baby girl, come to your daddy. that gate up from a baby, you know that? Yeah, yeah, my yeah man, we know that. One time, one time that gator saved my life, that she did. Some loony come in the bar with a ball peen hammer, gonna smash my head in or take my money, and right away, Tickle Pink took him for no good and started thrashing up the storm. She distracted that loony bird long enough for me to get a job, Pickle's pig feet, clock him across the head. Hmm. She's a good gator, Gomer. I mean, everybody says so. Not me, man. Hey, no, no, she, she's a fine gator, man, really, really, she really is. I was the only one who could put that bow on her. It was me and me alone. Now she done run off and left me. She done take it to the street. What am I going to do if she gone? What am I going to do without my sweet baby gator? Oh, gumbo, man, it's going to be all right. Car backfire. Yeah, yeah, man. Cody just called. And? He's contacted the Human Services office. Temporary parents can be arranged. When? Whenever we want. No word from Mireille? No. No. Poor woman. I just can't imagine her abandoning this child. Yeah, well, my mother left. What do you mean? It happens. She'd walk out on us all the time. Just leave us there with my old man. Just like not having an old man at all. Beer and work got him. Can't do that to a kid. No. You won't do that. What if I adopt this little cutie? Shame, Mr. Not serious. Be serious. I am serious. Single parents adopt. She needs a home. Huh? I'll give her a home. I'll give her a home right here in Key West. Wait a minute. Don't get any further down the line on this. Trust me, OK? Mm. Her mother left her. I, but that doesn't make you her parent. Why do you assume someone else can do this better than me? Seamus, it is a wonderful thought. I'll handle it. I'll give her a great home. Oh, boy. She needs me, don't you? What you been doing down there in that storm dread? And where your ribbon at? You get back. Get back. I ain't gonna miss it, point blank. You pull that trigger, that'd be the last thing you ever do. Sheriff? Gumbo? She ain't gonna do nothing but follow me home. She knows she been bad, and she ain't gonna do it no more. Ain't that right, baby? She promised. Now, you tell Chucky to be on his clifty clopty way before I slap some barbecue sauce on his ass, throw him on my grill, and serve him up as part of the lunch menu. Chucky, you're not gonna look very good with barbecue sauce on your butt. Sheriff Cody! Sheriff Cody, what in the hell is going on here? Doesn't it speak for itself? No, it leaves quite a bit to the imagination. Simplify it. This damn fool want to shoot my gator. A bounty posted is a bounty collected. Wait a minute. Gladly. Look at this. You got another gator down there. It's big. Male. Satisfied. Tick a pink, ain't you ashamed of yourself? I raise you better than that. Storm sewer gators cost double. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There will be no wild animals shot in my town. Sheriff Cody. Yes, ma'am. Could you call the wildlife department and tell them to get the gator out of our sewer system? And Gumbo, 
Could you take your little friend home? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna give her a talking to. Missy, you get on home with me now. You get on home with me now. Young lady, you hear me right now, this minute. That's a good girl. We're going home now where you belong. Anything else, Mayor? Today, I hope not. Where I'm from is very poor. It is also an angry country. My husband is in prison. It was very difficult for me. It was just me. And now with me and her, what to do? What to do? And they will send me back. You know they will. I know they will. And I did not want that for my daughter. I wanted her ear. Wanted her to be an American. So I think to leave her with you. But I could not do it. How could I leave her? Even so, I wanted. I could not. Shamus, come with me. We'll be right back, OK? Listen here, young lady. You and me got to have talk about this. What I'm going to do with you running off like that and carrying on with God knows who? And if you think for one minute, little missy, that I am going to play papa to a bunch of little baby gators, you have got another thing coming. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you be giving me them eyes now. I am not falling for this no more. I mean it. I'm serious now. If you start laying them eggs, I pass out cigars. <laughs> ah, my baby. She, uh, she cries less if you rock her. I guess she'll need a name. Sylvie is her name. Sylvie. And I uh, guess she'll need her shots, and we got some diapers, and she'll need more food, and boy, see you've got that taken care of. She'll be, uh, she'll be fine. Madam Mayor, thank you for, again for saving my gator. Oh, you're welcome. You, you know, if she have any babies, I'm gonna name one after you. I'd be honored. May I sit down? Chair is empty. So, Sheriff Cody informed me of your police report. Thank you. Hey, politics makes strange bedfellows. I'm sure you know that. Now, what are your terms? My terms? What are the terms of a known prostitute? OK, here are my terms. How about? The next time you see me on the street, the very next time, you don't cross over to the other side. Are you saying that I've done that? That's exactly what I'm saying, Madam Mayor. Now, I can own what is known, but I refuse to be treated like some kind of pariah. Well, I wasn't aware that I ever did that. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. But now you've got to own it. All right, I will. Good. Oh, thank you. You know, children, that's the almighty second word for hope. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, there'll be someone here to pick you up within the hour. You couldn't do anything? No. But I did get Sylvia a baby present. Birth certificate. Born on American soil means forever an American. Ah! <laughs> 
You got your citizenship, baby. This for real money? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I wish my mother had thought of that. Who's baby? Stork. I can't believe what a fuss people make over them. Yeah, yeah, goo goo, ga ga. Oh, I never want to have kids. Tell me about it. I have a maternal bone in my body. Me neither. Or a girl. Girl. Maybe we should welcome her to the world. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. <laughs> Hey, guys. I got a present uh, for our new little friend. Uh, Hello, Hello, Thank Shil you. <laughs> you will be her uh, pare, um, a godfather, yes? Yes, yes, I would, I would be honored. Oh. Hello, Sylvie. Oh, isn't she adorable? Sylvie. Oh, hello. Hey. I missed you, Sylvie. I missed you. Beautiful. No man is an island. He is father to the children. And the child is father to man. It is the continuum that becomes the millennium that becomes us. And it is from this truth this simple truth that my heart leaps up. If you would like to learn more about the art of big pipe playing, if you have a brain, you can read about it at your local library. This has been a message of the Public Service Department.